Today I'm going to talk about the five signs that are going to show you if you're going to be a successful entrepreneur or not. Let's get to it. So hey, my name is Moana Pobero and if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about how to buy and grow businesses. I'm here to show you that everyone out there is talking about starting a business from scratch. I'm here to show you that you can buy an existing business and it's probably going to cost you the same amount of money to start one from scratch. I'm also here to show you that if you have an existing business, you can grow your existing business by acquisitions, by going out there and buying other businesses. And it's probably a better way than just doing more sales and marketing. So if you didn't watch my other videos, check them out. Um, subscribe, like the video and, and comment below and let me know what ideas you have for me to create more videos because I'm trying to post daily. And see the description below if you want to join our free business buying mastermind. Do it right now. And also if you have ideas for me for videos, um, there's a, this in the description below a link where you can send me your biggest question and I'll create videos based on that. That's how I'm, that's how I'm getting my topics to create daily videos. But let's go back to today's video and, and get to it. So if you follow me for a while, you know, I've been in multiple businesses for the last 10 years now. I've been around many multimillionaires and almost billionaires people who some of them have been my mentors for a day to day literally. I, I, I show them how they live, how they act, how they think. And I think there's a big distinction between those who are successful and those who are not. Because I didn't grow up with a wealthy family, but I have friends around me who aren't wealthy and I'm always trying to figure out what's the difference, like what's gonna make someone successful, multimillionaire happy versus those who just have a regular job, probably are pretty sad, pretty average, and what the distinction between them. And today I wanna expand on that and really show you that there is a difference and you can literally take the same habits that those wealthy, successful multimillionaires are acting and, and thinking and, and literally copy to your life. And based on what I saw within myself as well, those few distinctions can change your life. And the first one, in my opinion, is probably one of the most important thing is being decisive. And decisive, being decisive, it's all about the commitment. Because for those who are committed, they're, they're, they'll always find a way. They'll find a way to continue. They'll find a way to go through their challenges, to break through uh, their barriers. And for those who are not 100% committed, they'll always find a reason on why they can't move forward, on, hey, I tried, but I want, but this happened, but they're always finding a reason on why they can't progress or why they have to give up. Uh, just to be honest, because it's more comfortable to just go back to what you used to versus deciding on one thing and going with it 100%. With the most successful people that I met, it's not like they're any special or anything like that, but they're making a decision before they're taking action. They literally have a goal in mind. They, take, they say, okay, this is the outcome that I want and I'm committed to achieving that no matter what. And then they're taking action. And from what I saw, literally they're making the same mistakes as those who start and are not committed. The only difference is, is that the person who's committed, they continue to work and they probably failed more than that person who didn't commit it. Like there's a huge chance that that person who wasn't committed literally progressed more initially, but then he just gave up because he didn't have that 100% commitment and certainty and he just gave up and then you can't hear about that person. You don't know what's going on with him. That person who is 100% committed, he will continue to move forward again and again and again. And the only reason that he can continue to do that is because he had the vision in his mind initially and he just said to himself, I don't care what happened, I'll continue to work on that. And he expected those challenges. And when you see a challenge, it's like, okay, cool, yeah, that's part of the process. Let's find a way to go through it and let's continue. Like literally one of the worst thing you can do is hesitate in business. And many times it's better to make a bad decision than making no decision at all. Like making bad decision will lead you to conclusions, will lead you to learning experiences versus making no decision and just sitting back and doing nothing will lead you nowhere. And I, I think another reason for those who committed is that they have a reason behind just money or behind just themselves. They also have a commitment to many times help others and contribute to others. And I think you'll find that especially, I don't know if many of you got to a point where they're making enough money where they can sustain themselves pretty comfortably. And you understand that there's only so much you can make that will make you happy. You need to find a reason to make other people fulfill and happy and successful. And that will wake you up in a much easier way. Like if you have a reason to help your family members or, or your loved ones, that energy will wake you up to hustle and work and be committed to your goal much, much more than if your goal is to only make yourself enough money to live comfortably. 
like I see this so much, especially in this space of buying businesses. Now when I'm starting to work with few partners and help them to buy businesses, people hesitate all the time. And unless they have the support and accountability, they'll find a reason to hesitate, to doubt themselves and to not take action. If it's in the way they present themselves to business owners or brokers, if it's in the way they present themselves when talking to financial institutions, if it's even in the way they, they look for a sector and a niche to focus on. I know people who try to get to the space of buying businesses and it's literally, it's been more than a year that they learned about the space of buying businesses and they're always self-doubting themselves, thinking, okay, what sector should I pick? No, I'm not sure this niche is good enough. I heard about healthcare, but I'm not sure I'm passionate about it. And, and this is the worst thing you can do to yourself. You think that those thoughts progress you toward results, but it's the opposite. It's leading you nowhere because you're not taking actual action that can lead you to getting results or lessons. And if you're not taking those actions, there's no way that you can get a feedback. And if you're not getting feedback, you just, you're moving nowhere. You're literally staying at your same place and, and you're doing nothing with yourself. And I get it. I mean, you tell me I don't have capital to buy businesses. I don't have partners. I don't have the right sector. I don't have this. I don't have that. It doesn't matter, guys. You got to make a decision if you're committed 100% to your goals, if you're making choices and decisions, or if you're committed to your limitations and doubts and staying comfortable. And you need to understand if you want to achieve different results, you got to literally change yourself as a person internally to achieve those results. Otherwise, if you'll always to continue to be the person you are right now and take the same actions as you're taking right now, and even thinking the same thoughts that you're thinking right now, you're going to stay at the same place. To become a different person, to achieve different results, you got to do things that you're not comfortable doing, things that you're scared doing, things that maybe make you doubt yourself or hesitate. And you got to stop that. You got to do new things in order to achieve new results. Otherwise, you'll just stay at the same place. And I see people literally stay at the same place for years at a time just because they're unable to make decisions. They're always self-doubting themselves. They always think that what they're doing isn't right, that they're not talented enough, that they're not focused enough, that that person this or that person that, and they always find an excuse. And that way you just can't achieve anything. Like, as uh, whatever it sounds, I really believe that success is black or white. You either committed to become a winner, to win in life, or you're not. There's no in between. I really don't believe there's a gray zone in this space. You either committed thousand percent, or you're not committed at all. And if you tell to yourself, "I'll give it a try," I'll, 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 I'll check it out. There's no way that you'll be successful, guys. You gotta commit yourself. And it's a very simple. If you want to get into the space of buying businesses, it's very simple. You gotta know how to position yourself as a legit buyer. You need to have a team around you to help you with that. You gotta have a system to find motivated sellers. You gotta have a system to find out if a deal is a good deal so you won't get screwed with the numbers and all that. You gotta know how to raise capital and then you know need to know how to do due diligence and how to grow the business and bring the right CEOs and managers ideally to run the business for you unless you wanna run the business yourself. Buying businesses is a very simple process and everything is the same for other areas if you want to start a business if you want to do whatever you want i don't know get into shape there's very simple steps that you need to follow in order to get results but you gotta have the commitment behind you unless you have that there's no way that you'll be successful and that's one of the most important thing i think you need to focus on it's the commitment it's the decisiveness and it's you saying i'm in this life to win and to live my life and i'm not here to be a spectator and watch other people's lives i'm here to play my game and win as much as i can and that's my only commitment that's all i'm everything else i'm eliminated and i'm focused only on winning and when you'll do that with yourself and make a decision whatever you do make a decision you see your life are going to change so this is for this video we're going to do more videos on this series alone and I hope you enjoyed it. See the description below for the links to join our mastermind. Like this video, help me grow the channel and let me know in the comments below, are you committed or not? And I'll see you soon.